Good morning, everybody. What's up? It's Jen. Oh my god, my voice and it's not in focus. Today, I am going to do something exciting. This is the last you're going to see of this hair color because I am at Lumio Salon and I'm going to change it. So stay tuned. It's raining! I got out and I was vlogging in the hallway and then he came down so that was really awkward and it's raining so now I need to find a way to get like an umbrella there's a GS25 right across the street then I'm gonna have to get my hair wet for a little bit so that kind of sucks anyway I love it and we're gonna go come to Lumio <laughs> Which is like the Korean In and Out basically. In and Out once 
I heard like had an actual pop up in Seoul. Since then, this is the like alternative. I heard it's like low key better than In and Out, and it kind of costs the same, right? But one thing is that their fries are better. This is a like enlarged picture of their fries, but it already looks really good. And like, not to hate on you, like West Coast people, sorry, East Coast right here, but like <laughs> In and Out fries, they they taste like cardboard, y'all. Like Shake Shack is better, but at the same time, you can't even compare them because like Shake Shack is a gourmet burger. But still, we're gonna try a cry cheeseburger today. They have regular burgers if you don't like cheese, but we both got a cheeseburger set. I was thinking about a double, but then I was like, no, I'll just get a single cheeseburger and then I'll swap out the drink for a milkshake. Because my milkshake brings all the voice to the yard. <laughs> no, it doesn't. All right, it would not be a gen vlog without like a mukbang aspect. We're gonna try it, but I'm kind of thinking I don't like onions or tomatoes, so I kind of gotta take that shit out first. Not really about that. Whatever it is, looks good. Lobster grilled cheese and it comes with fries and coleslaw. I'm super excited. This place is really cool because it's kind of just like a department store food court, but this is like a really bougie department store. But they give you like these little things and you can just sit anywhere and then you just tap it on your seat and they'll bring it to you. So I think that's like really cool so that you know you can sit together and you don't have to worry about having to walk super far to get your food and then coming back to meet with whoever you're eating with. But you can definitely eat alone. A lot of people are eating alone, it's totally normal here. tomorrow afternoon but Tracy is going all the way to Incheon tomorrow because her flight is like the day after and they're just like moving all their shit so that it can be closer to Incheon. Tonight is like our last night to do something fun so we've been packing all day when everybody was like going out doing stuff so now that it's nighttime and like everyone's returning home we're finally going out. So first things first Tracy needed to get a shorter version of the earring for the piercing that she had because when you get a piercing you have to get it 10 millimeters and then like six months later you can change it to a shorter one because you know like it's really long for such a tiny piercing but I decided to get two more piercings where I got it the first time so these are the two and it really hurts because they pierced it over scar tissue since like I got it pierced exactly there before and then I took it out because it was annoying me and then it healed up really quickly and so I just redid it but I got it at a place called Nana Piercing and Joshua Hong from Seventeen went there, VM from Card went there, Blackpink went there, Big Bang went there, just like so many people. It's the one in home day. It's kind of expensive. The earring itself was 6,000 won and then the service fee is 10. So I paid 32 for both of these, even though the first time I got these done, I paid 15 for both of them, like together. But anyway, so last thing to do is just one last karaoke. Tracy's back. Hello, the party has arrived. <laughs> Sorry, 
use that as a transition now. Yeah, yeah. I just finished packing and everything is just empty. Like all my suitcases and my shit, totally empty. <laughs> Let me show you what the trash can looks like. It's actually insane right now. Everyone has their like suitcases in the hall because our rooms are too small for everyone to just have it in there. It is absolutely insane. Oh my god, so much stuff. Yeah, so basically everyone's like throwing away their shit and it's like just kind of funny. <laughs> so I'm donating my wedding. Yo, what? Hey guys, so this is kind of late, but I moved out of the dorms. I didn't vlog that much because it was just really, really exhausting. Uh, my friend helped me move out, so thank you so much if you're watching. But I just wanted to show you guys like what my Airbnb looked like. It's in Hongdae, but it's like a five, ten minute walk from exit one. But it's like not far enough to like take a taxi there, so it's still like pretty convenient, but I will definitely get some walking in. But this is what it looks like. It's very, very cute and clean. It's so clean, it smells clean, everything is good. So this is the bathroom. This is one of the reasons why I chose this Airbnb because the bathroom's really clean. You don't really see any like rust or mold anywhere. It's just kept up really, really well. In Korea, since the bathrooms are like a wet room style bathroom, I really make an effort to find one with a clean bathroom because it just like, it irks me a little if it's like kind of rusty and stuff. The floors are really, really nice. It's not like that weird um, kind of squishy like roll on fake wood floor mat thing. And then this is the like kitchen area and it actually has a washer. So that's really, really nice. And then it has a stove and this Airbnb actually comes with things inside because sometimes Airbnbs have like a stove and stuff, but they just don't sell anything. Oh my gosh, already. I love it. Oh my God, they have BT21. They knew, they knew I was gonna be here. The bed here, and it's a queen size bed, so pretty spacious. There's some blackout curtains, which is nice. There's a mirror, full length mirror, which is nice. There's no like vanity mirror, but I guess I will just have to like sit on the floor and do my makeup here, but that's fine because they give you a little table. And then you get a bunch of towels, a hair dryer, and you get a kettle. So yeah, I thought I'd show that to you, but for my dinner tonight, I really wanted a pizza. So I went to pizza school, my favorite cheap pizza place, and I got a pizza for $8. Woo! Oh, but I forgot to tell you. So after I moved out, me and my friend, we hung out. We went to another cafe, and I got another BTS cup holder, even though I already sent all mine home. And I'm just like, I don't know how I'm going to take this back, but I'm addicted to getting cup holders. I just love celebrating these moments with something that's so limited and, like, you can't get anywhere else. But then afterwards, I went and got my nails done because they were so long. Here, I'll insert a picture here. I took a picture of my nails when they took the nail polish off, and oh my gosh, they grew so long, literally. I'm going to muster on Sunday, so I got BTS inspired nails. The pinks and everything is kind of like um, the album inspired colors. I couldn't get the exact colors because I didn't have them. I like pulled up a picture and I was staring at the color selection for a really long time. They just didn't have that many pinks. So I went with the best that I could. And then for this one, I wanted it to be like a pearlescent kind of effect with like the chrome powder. I wish that they had a more like pinky undertone base because this one is more like greenish bluish undertone. And then like for the design with like the gems and the little twinkly star thing, I tried to get it to mimic the like magic shop logo like the poster it just wouldn't work out they didn't have any kind of thing to do the line they said that the tape wouldn't look good even though i thought like the regular striping tape would be fine but we just went with this and i'm just kind of like 
mm, whatever. And then as a little added touch, I just have a little purple heart because I purple you, boraje. And then I also got my toes done. I don't know if you like want to see my toes. But yeah, I'm just going to eat my pizza and chill because today has been a long and exhausting day. And last night I was up until like 5 a.m. packing and my lips are so chapped right now. They kind of hurt. I'm just so excited that I finally get a night to myself. I don't have to worry about my roommate. I'm just gonna eat my pizza, watch some Netflix and just chill. So this is the last time I'm gonna be walking home from whatever my shenanigans were at night, which is in most cases karaoke. But it's kind of like bittersweet because I'm probably not gonna be back in Korea for a long while just because I come here so often within the past like few years. But yeah, it's just like kind of bittersweet that it's the last time. But anyway, yeah, going home, gonna pack, shower, and just get some rest for tomorrow. Of course I had to get the BT21 luggage cart, of course. <laughs> 